Hello everyone, I'm Kirsten at the Elkin Library and today I'm going to show you how to make a mythical creature lantern using a mason jar. There are different ways to make this and I'm going to show you the way that I make it with the ingredients that I use to make it. So we've got our mason jar, we've got our burlap ribbon, our hemp cord, moss, flower petals, gold wire, Mod Podge, sponge paintbrush, glitter, very fine glitter, our silhouette, mine's a fairy, and our hot glue gun. So to start out, if you got a kit from the library, the first, the very first thing you're going to want to do is cut out your silhouette before you do anything. And you can use scissors. Some of them you might need an X-Acto knife to get off as much of the white as possible. You don't want that showing up through your jar. You just want your silhouette showing up through your jar. Uh, if you don't have a kit, you can search on Google Images and find the silhouette of any mythical creature you choose. All right, so. You're going to take your Mod Podge and your sponge brush. And we're going to coat the inside. You want a very, very, very light layer of Mod Podge. It will stick. Trust me, it will stick. But the thicker the layer, the more it's going to show through on your creature. So you do not want that. So you see, I've got a very thin layer. It's, I'm trying to spread it out as much as I possibly can. A little goes a long way. Then I'm going to very carefully take the silhouette with the black showing out and I'm going to place it in the jar like so with the creature showing outward. I'm going to take the Mod Podge again trying to get off the excess and I'm going to go over it kind of making sure that the silhouette is actually placed I'm going to spread a little Mod Podge over the creature. This allows it to help stick. But again, I'm trying to spread out the Mod Podge as much as I can so that when it dries, it's going to dry clear. So you can see the layer of Mod Podge that is going to be drying on that. So now I'm going to, my jar is not completely covered inside, I'm going to completely cover it in Mod Podge. going up as high as I want to into the lip of the jar. You do, again, want to make sure the whole jar is covered because you're going to be sprinkling your glitter in here in just a second. Okay. Now, take your glitter and in your kit, you've got three different shades of glitter. And you do not need to cover the entire jar in so much glitter that you're not going to be able to see the candle. The whole point is that when you put the candle in, you're going to be able to see it glowing through the glitter. So it is okay if you do not have enough glitter to cover the entire jar. It is okay. Just spread it out as best as you can. So I am just... You see that was one little thing of glitter and it's pretty much covered. I 
I'm going to try to sprinkle in a couple of other colors. So now my jar is completely coated. You're still going to be able to see a little bit of the, the opaque where the Mod Podge is still wet. That is okay. Again, you don't want the glitter to be so thick that you can't see the inside of the jar. You want to be able to see that so that when the candle's lit, you can see the silhouette really well and the glitter will shine through. So what you're going to do with this now is set it to the side for 24 to 48 hours. You want the Mod Podge to clear or to dry completely so that it'll be clear. And you'll know that because the, the little bit that you're going to be able to see through the silhouette, that's going to dry. And it's either going to turn completely clear so that this is black or it's going to be a little bit of a lighter color, like a grayish. That's fine. Mine turned out that way. It's okay. Okay, now we're going to work on the lid of our lantern. So you've got your base and the screw on top. So for your base, you're going to take hot glue gun. You're going to do a circle towards the, the middle of your jar lid. You don't want to get too close to the side. You want to be able to put it more towards the center. I'm going to take the moth and I'm going to put some moss on top. And you don't want to do too, too much. And you want to avoid having it hang over the side. Just a little patch on your lid. Now take your flower petals. And if yours looks like a little heart, fold up the bottom to come up to the top of the heart like so. Then we're just going to roll it. And as you're rolling it, you're going to need to glue it. But be careful, these are very thin, so do not use a lot of glue and try not to burn yourself. I say that speaking from experience. I'm going to kind of hold it for a second and let the glue dry. So now you've got your rolled up flower petal and I'm going to take your jar lid, I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the moss and then stick the flower on there, holding it for a second, letting it dry. Hot glue dries pretty quickly. And now you've got one flower in place. So you can do this as many times as you want to um, to make it you know, more flowery or less flowery, depending on what you want. I'm going to do more. So Okay, so now I've got my flowers on top. You're going to set that to the side and work on the screw top. So for your screw top, you've got two things. You've got your hemp cord and your wire. So the first thing we're going to do is the cord. We're going to wrap the screw top gluing as we go. So if you're anything like me, this is probably going to be the part that takes the longest because you want to make sure that you're going around and around and around but trying to hide as much of the silver as you can. Okay. 
can see I'm putting hot glue as I go because if you don't, it's going to make it really hard the further along you go. Okay. So you've got your wrapped screw top now. The last thing to do with the screw top is to take your wire and you're going to turn it into a little handle. So the way I did this, probably the easiest way to do this is to take the a jar, any jar, and take your wire. It is easily malleable, so you it's very easy to shape it and move it and do it. And I've got Mod Podge on my wire. Let's use our jar, shall we? <laughs> so take it, put it on the side here, and just kind of wrap it around. You're seeing that it's very easy to shape it. Once you've got it, nice and rounded. The ends, you're going to take the end and loop it. So again, easily malleable, just take it and kind of push it up. So that it creates a little teardrop there on the side. And I'm going to do the same with the other side like so. Okay, now that I've done that, obviously it's too big. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to kind of push it just a little bit until it is the perfect size to fit on the screw top lid. And it's still got a nice circular arch there in the wire. And I'm going to very, very carefully glue this on. Now, since it is glued on, you won't be able to actually pick it up by the handle. It will break clean off. So this is strictly for looks, for the aesthetic. So I'm gonna put the handle on there, and then I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to glue over the teardrop so that when it dries, it's going to harden over the wire holding it in place. And then I'm going to hold this down for one minute. Okay. That is our screw top lid. You can see it's wrapped. It's got its handle. I'm going to set that to the side. The very last thing to do. It's okay to do this while the jar is sitting out for that 24 to 48 hours. It's not going to affect it at all. I'm going to take my burlap ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around the jar. And I'm going to come to where my creature is. See, I've got my fairy there. Now I'm going to make a bow. I do it like I am tying my shoes. Okay. Now, if you've got excess, you don't want it to hang down like that. It blocks your creature. So I'm going to cut off a bit of this, these tails. So that we've got a nice little bow in front of our creature. So now, again, my jar is not completely dry. At the moment, I'm just doing this to show you how it's going to look. 
because you do want it to sit again for 24 to 48 hours to completely dry. Put your screw your your um, your top on there, and then very very carefully going to screw on your lid. So that is our creature lantern. And if you put one of those tea light candles in here and light it, you're going to see how nice it looks lit up. Unfortunately, I do not have one of those with me. Um, but that's fine because uh, it is very important to note that if you put a tea light candle in here, a real tea light candle that you have to light, you're not going to want to leave it in there for very long. The Mod Podge, once you put a candle in it, it's going to start um, making the Mod Podge run. And so you want to try to not leave it in there lit for very long. Your tea light candles, I think, are about two hours lit, something like that, maybe three hours. You don't want to leave it lit in there that long. Best thing to do is get one of those little battery powered tea lights and put it in there. That'll be good. Um, but you can light a, a tea light candle in there. That's fine. Just don't leave it in there for very long. Also, please do not put the lid on it. If you've got a tea light candle that you light, please don't put the lid on it with it lit. Please don't. Um, and again, you don't have to use the exact ribbon or the exact same stuff on top that I used. That's just um, how I found it. Um, but I hope you guys liked your your lantern. Please send me pictures. I would love to see them of you holding your lantern. I really like that. Send me a, a picture of them lit. That'd be great. Um, and I hope you guys have a good time making them. Thanks. Bye.